Hi guys, it's Emma with Polly's Paper Crafts and I have got another layout for you. Um, this idea has been floating around in my head for ages now and I have finally got it onto paper. So, I think most of you recognise um, that logo. It is of course the Snapchat logo. So, I think this is the same for most people that since Snapchat did the update where you can, you know, it sort of maps your face and then puts effects on your face. Um, been a little bit obsessed with it, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> so this was to reflect that, really. Now, there's a few crafty fails in this one. So I got the logo from Google and I've just printed it out on normal copy of paper and cut it out. And now I'm tracing it onto some card. Now, my original idea was that I would trace it out onto some card and then use my sewing machine to sew around the outside because, you know, I thought that would be quicker than hand sewing and it would be a lot easier. It wasn't. The sewing machine went um, pretty fast, uh, faster than I could um, sort of turn the paper and it didn't keep to the outline, let's say. So I got another piece of card and started to punch the holes around the outside, which was going well. You saw me take out that tissue there. I th when I did it, I thought, mm, why is that there? I realised afterwards why that was there. Um, you will see in a minute, I will flash on screen because it was an epic crafty fail. I thought I was doing ever so well. I was pun punching all the holes or piercing all the holes with a drawing pin and it's going to skip forward in a moment, but not before my crafty fail. So I'd finished poking the holes and moved the paper away and yes, that is my desktop. <laughs> I accidentally poked all the way through the paper and the cardboard that I put underneath it and straight into my desk. Crafty fail. Luckily, my desktop is just like, if I want to replace it, I mean, I plan to replace it eventually anyway. Like, it's like 13 quid from Ikea and my original idea when I put my desk together was that I would, like, when it got really dirty, like, with paint or ink or whatever, and there's stuff all over it, then I could just go and buy another tabletop. So, it it's not massive, but just a word to the wise out there, put a cutting mat or something underneath. Or, you know, make the cardboard thicker, which is why the tissue paper was in there in the first place. But, you know, realise that in hindsight. So, what am I doing? I have skipped ahead where I have hand-stitched all around my little Snapchat ghost. And I've cut him out. And then I've sort of decided where I want him on my paper. And then use my watercolours to splatter yellow all around it. So, the Snapchat logo is obviously the white ghost with yellow all around it. So I wanted to sort of take that, um, those colours and go with that really. So I've used two different yellows from my Artist Loft palette and just sort of um, splattered all the way around the outside. Um, you saw I broke out the heat tool there, but these were like really big water droplets and it was taking ages to dry. And being impatient, I, you know, got out the paper towel. Now here, <laughs> oh my life, Okay, I cut down this, um, my 12 by 12 piece of white, thinking that I would have a really nice yellow border all the way around the outside, and I really like this piece from Paige Evans. Of course, you can see me there, I'm looking at it going, why doesn't it fit? Why is it not? I've obviously already cut a piece off this, it's not, a, it wasn't a full 12 by 12 sheet of paper, but of course, silly Emma did not realise that. So I was looking at it and I think I even got out my ruler just to double check that I wasn't going completely mental. But no, the dotty piece was um, was too, too small. So um, I found just a piece of solid yellow cardstock in my stash, in my minimal stash. And um, I've used that instead, which is fine. That works out a lot better. Now here I put tape really close to the edge and then you'll see for the next three sides I put it about a centimetre in. That's because after I'd put down the tape on the one side I decided actually I could mach machine stitch around this. So as it's the back side I just tore that tore that uh, double sided tape off and it ripped the paper a little bit but it's going, it's going to be stuck onto the yellow cardstock so I don't see that it's a, a big issue. 
so I've stood that on my yellow cardstock and I'm just going to stitch all around the outside and it's going to flash forward in a minute. But yeah, I really like how this one turned out. So I was really happy that I finally managed to get it down on paper because it's been, like I said, it's been floating around in my head for, it's got to be well over a week and I just haven't had time to sort of do anything about it, which is silly, I know. Um, so there we go, I've machine stitched all around. Now, obviously there is loads and loads of filters on Snapchat, but the two photos, or I printed out three photos, but I'll only use two, um, are like black and white and they were doing like cool makeup effects with heavy eyeliner and red lipstick, which uh, I wish I could do eyeliner that good. Like winged eyeliner, who can, I can't do it. I just can't. I don't know why. It's like an epic girl fail. But, yeah, I can't do winged eyeliner. I like the way it looks, but I can't do it myself. So I shall rely on Snapchat filters <laughs> to see how I look with winged eyeliner. Um, I got some doilies out of my stash. That half doily had been sitting on my table for, like, the past week because, you know, I don't clean up. Um, <laughs> and I I've kind of slipped it underneath the ghost's head and I thought it looked really cool. It kind of softens the edges, which I really like. And then I've put the ghost on some foam, just to pop it up a little bit. So there's my two photos. I didn't choose to use three in the end, because in the third one, I have my hair down, and it just seemed... I don't know, the whole... The, the photo overall just seemed quite a lot darker than the other two. And it just, I don't know, it threw the balance off. So I used the, the lighter of the two. And I'm just going through my stash for some little bits and pieces to embellish. And what I'm basically going to do is obviously there's yellow on there because of the Snapchat logo. I'm going to pick up on the red that is in the two photos. It's the lipstick effect in the photos. So I'm going to pick up on the red and then the black as well because obviously the photos are black and white. And I think um, I'm really happy with the balance overall. So I start thinking about my title, which is going to be Snapchat Crazy, and I start getting the stickers from the Bella Boulevard um, 12 by 12 alphabet sticker sheet, and then realise actually I should probably put my photos down first, <laughs> secure those in place before I mess about with my title. So I put the crazy down there, yeah, they are in white glitter thickers. I think they're Fitzgerald, but I'm not entirely sure. And then just the Snapchat. I'm really happy with this one. Really happy. How is everyone? I'm on summer holidays now, so I am pretty happy. Um, I'm helping out my friend with the craft fair on Sunday. So that I'm looking forward to. I might vlog that a little bit, actually. Let me know down below if that's something that you would like to see. Having said that, even if you say no, I will probably still film it. Whether I post it or not is a different matter, but yeah. But she makes some really cool, like, tote bags, and she made my planner pouch, which I still need to do a video on. And, yeah, she's just awesome. And actually, to go along with the planner pouches, I have sort of purged my paper a little bit, because I was starting to build up, like, forever kits that I haven't used and I kind of get overwhelmed if I've got too much paper, which I know is not too much paper by some people's standards, but it was too much paper for me, and I just wasn't using it. So I have made lots of like little notebooks, kind of like traveller's notebooks, and they will sort of complement her planner pouches and that kind of thing. So I think I'm going to sell those at, her, at the craft fair as well. So what have I used? I've used that rubber piece from Amy Tangerine, as the little flower, flower in the hair of the ghost, which picks up on the red of the lipstick. And then I've brought that down. So it's it's rules of three, isn't it? So then, so you've got one in the lipstick red, then two in the flower, and then three is the button, just in the bottom corner of the ghost. And then the yellow is in three places. So it's the rubber image by the title, which is also Amy Tangerine. Um, the title Snapchat and then 
there's like a little arrow that says obsessed and that is from a simple stories carpe diem ephemera pack and then i've brought in some black by using the bella boulevard illustrated faith black enamel hearts which they just sort of bring the black in other places well i hope you enjoyed this one guys i definitely enjoyed making it and i'm really happy with the result um if you liked it give me a thumbs up um i'd love to see your comments as well so that's amazing and i hope to see you soon bye